Hey, what's up? Chris here. Today I'd like to revisit a bag that I looked at a few months ago. I have the eBags TLS Motherload Weekender Convertible Junior. So two primary reasons I'd like to take a second look at this bag. The first one being that I've had a chance to use this bag for a couple of short trips recently and I just kind of forgot how good of a bag this was. Also, I've seen this bag for $69.99 recently and I think at that price, it's a steal of a bag. So again, just wanted to show how I've used this bag recently and just give some final thoughts on the bag. Since I looked at this bag a few months ago, I've had the chance to look at quite a few different kinds of bags. Travel backpacks, carry-on luggage, whatever it might be. So this bag, unfortunately, got thrown in the back of my closet. So I dug it out not too long ago and again, have used this for uh, two or three short overnight, two-night trips. So Again, just wanted to show how I use this and show how good of a bag this is. But first, what I forgot about this bag is that it actually checks off some of those things I typically complain about on a bag. This does have lockable zippers on multiple compartments here, has interior compression straps, and also some exterior compression straps. Also, uh, just looking at the backpack straps, also comes with the sternum strap which I've actually lost one of mine and just haven't taken the time to look for. Also, this bag does come with the connection points if you want to connect that duffel bag strap to carry it like a duffel. Because again, remember, this is a convertible bag. And what that means is that you can hide these straps away in the back of the bag here. So again, I have used this bag for some overnight trips recently. And basically what I've done is since this is a, a nice size bag and just being overnight, this is one of the few times I'll actually go ahead and pack some jeans because to me, jeans do take up a lot of space. Typically, I use a hiking type pant. So again, I'll just throw this in the bag here. And depending on the reason for my trip, I could also throw in some, like an extra pair of work pants. And I usually don't travel unless I do carry at least one packing cube. And typically I'll carry the Clean Dirty medium size from Eagle Creek. And so I'll usually roll up a couple, uh, two, three, four t-shirts, um, depending on the length of the trip, and then socks and underwear on the other side. So again, what I do like about this bag is the fact that it does have the compression straps, which help me kind of keep all my things in place just to compress this down and show what that looks like. And I typically take just cords, chargers, things like that in a bag, and then of course a small toiletry bag. And just with this in the bag, you'll see that definitely have room for like a sweatshirt or really any size jacket. And then you still have the space here if you need to organize your items. And also what I've had to do is take an extra pair of shoes with me. So this front pocket here is huge. And you'll see that a pair of shoes easily will fit in this bag. So just to show what this looks like packed real quick. And again, for a, a one or two night trip, this is more than enough items. What I also like about this bag is that it does have the zipper to expand. And I know a lot of bags, when you unzip the zipper to expand, it doesn't give you a lot of extra room. But I do feel like this bag does give ample room. If you can see here, quite a bit of additional space here. And also just touching on the lockable zippers, this pocket on the front here with my shoes will be able to lock, along with the main compartment. This smaller pocket on the front here also will lock and then the laptop pocket on the back will lock. Also what I like about a lot of these is that it's going to have some metal D-rings here. Let's see here. I know on the side here that basically when you zip your zipper, your lockable zippers, you can basically hook your lock here to keep your items again secure and the zipper is not going to move from this one location here. So now just to finish up, I want to give some quick final thoughts on the bag. So to close this out, if you haven't checked out eBags 
highly recommend doing so. Um, number one, I love the website ebags.com, but they also have their own line of bags, which I really like. I feel like the bags are very well thought out, and I think that gives you a lot of options, ways to organize in, in different pockets and compartments to, to keep your stuff in. So I've always been impressed with eBags brand bags that I've had a chance to look at. Um, it's easy to get lost in the mix. Again, if you're a brand like eBags, there's so many name brand bags out there that are, again, very high quality bags. But a lot of times what I found with the eBags brand is that these things go on sale quite frequently. Um, I mentioned in the beginning that I have seen this bag actually as of today for $69.99. It's a good possibility that that price is going to kind of vary. But I feel like that because we're close to the holiday season currently, that there's a good possibility you're going to find a really good deal on this bag. If not, the $70 range. Um, again, this bag retails for around, I think, $119. Um, so, again, I've seen this bag easily $99, $89, and I believe even lower. So, again, I feel like that you can find this bag at a very competitive price. So, in my opinion on this bag is also that it can compete with most bags on the market around that price range very, very well. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and please leave those questions. I would absolutely love to hear from you. Again, thank you so much 